months of heroic defense in Bakhmut, engaging in intense firefights. 150 kilometers on helicopters over enemy territory, braving dense air defense systems. The journey from a volunteer detachment to an elite force within the armed forces. This is the story of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade. When the 3rd Assault Brigade arrived at its position, they engaged in their first combat encounter on the very first night, which was the beginning of nearly continuous confrontations. It was almost round-the-clock assaults, lasting up to 12 hours at a time. The guys operated without sleep, the enemy was 15-20 meters away. For months they defended the city against the overwhelming Russian forces. During the night Miron could use up to two boxes of grenades. I constantly heard him on the radio saying, we need grenades, we need grenades. Among their notable missions is the defense of the so-called Road of Life, which served as a lifeline for supplying the defenders of Bakhmut. At one point, the Russians were entrenched near the road, but the regiment's fighters executed a swift attack, dislodging them from their positions. We would move 10-15 meters, 10 down, and immediately they would hit the spot where we had just been. As soon as we moved a bit more, they would hit the previous spot again. They were constantly trying to knock us out with unguided missiles, 120 mm mines and grads. In early May, the leader of the Wagner PMC, declared by the United States as a transnational criminal organization, acknowledged that the 72nd Brigade of the Russian Army had fled from its positions near Bakhmut. We have just visited our positions and have heard what is happening. Our army is on the run. This resulted in the loss of several kilometers of fortifications and half a thousand soldiers for the occupying forces. The Ukrainian unit responded. Thank you for showcasing our success at the front line. The Washington Post reported that the battle for Bakhmut was the bloodiest in Europe since World War II. In May, John Kirby estimated that Russia's military had suffered 100,000 casualties in the past few months alone. This is just one of the successful combat operations of the 3rd Assault Brigade. They stepped forward as volunteers to defend Ukraine on the first day. Among them were the veterans of the legendary Azov, so they formed a territorial defense battalion, adopting the name of their former unit. For a period, Ukraine witnessed the coexistence of two distinct Azov units, each operating independently and now having different designations. Within a matter of weeks, the battalion underwent restructuring and emerged as a separate Special Forces regiment. In the following days, the newly formed unit, together with the 72nd Brigade, executed an ambush on a Russian tank regiment near Kiev. Intercepted communications revealed that the occupiers lost nearly an entire regiment. Over the next month, the new Azov, alongside Allied units, successfully liberated crucial settlements surrounding Kyiv, including Vasilkiv, Irpin, Bucha, Hostomel and Moshchun. In April 2022, a call for volunteers was issued to expand its ranks. The rigorous selection and training process closely simulated conditions on the front line. The objective is to assign them such a workload so they could grasp the challenges they will face on future missions. The skills acquired by the unit proved invaluable for another unique operation, namely the defense of Azovstal. For several months the defenders of Mariupol were completely encircled. They were about 150 kilometers from the front line to Azovstal, heavily protected with air defense systems and a dominant enemy aircraft presence. Despite this, a daring operation was organized by Defense Intelligence, utilizing Mi-8 helicopters to break through and reach Azovstal, enabling the delivery of weapons, supplies, volunteers and the evacuation of wounded. We could really see what exactly they were shooting at us with, how the anti-aircraft weapon systems were set up in our direction, the piercing illumination of searchlights, the bagged man pads positions, machine gun tracers pointing in our direction. The entire 150 km journey was a continuous pursuit. Against the odds, the impossible task was accomplished, not just once, but repeatedly. In total, there were seven such missions to Azovstal. They saved dozens of wounded, provided essential supplies and the reinforcement of the defenders with 72 soldiers from the new regiment.
After that, the volunteer regiment played a pivotal role in the liberation of Kherson. In January 2023, the Special Operations Forces of the Volunteer Regiment officially became the third separate assault brigade within the armed forces, continuing their active involvement in the most intense areas. The brigade comprises tank, artillery, air defense missile units and is even equipped with semi-improvised ground drones armed with explosives. The brigade consists of highly motivated fighters, among whom are notable Ukrainian individuals. Viktor Rozovy, once one of the country's most popular comedians and hosts, did not lose his sense of humor in the trenches. Do you know why enemy aircraft are flying less often now? Because we have stingers. Do you know why our aircraft are also flying less often? Because we have stingers too. The volunteers, who initially organized themselves as the Territorial Defense Unit, ascended to a full-fledged brigade within the armed forces of Ukraine in just one year, and now continue to defend their homeland. If I receive the call to join a cleanup operation, I'll be ready in just 10 minutes. I lost my brother near Bakhmut. Now I seek revenge, and I have the skills to excel in exacting it.